Hello everyone, Dan Central here and welcome to a new video and a collection video. Now, for those of you that have liked my new Facebook page already, thank you ever so much. It's www.facebook.com slash Dan Central Gaming for those of you that haven't or haven't heard about it yet. Thank you very much everyone that's liked it so far. Um, this is going to be um, a collection video of a system that a lot of people not only underrate and don't like, but also then say to me, why are you giving it so much attention when it's rubbish? Well, I grew up with it, for one, and actually there are some hidden games on it that are really, really good. Yeah, I get it, I understand, most of the games are crap, but there's the odd few that I think are absolutely fantastic, and they are really good in their own right, and then they're games that kind of either slipped through the net, or people just didn't give them enough time and, and just didn't give them a chance basically in my opinion despite a lot of them being crap um, so I'm gonna do a collection video of the Philips CDI done one before uh, done it a few times before I think but not only do I enjoy doing it um, obviously I'm getting new subscribers all the time which I'm so grateful for so thank you ever so much for those of you that have subscribed and those that, you, that may do in the future um, but it means that they can see it as well if they haven't seen the previous versions um, so yeah, and not only that, I've got such a comprehensive collection, I don't really think anybody else that I've come across has got such an extensive Philips CDI collection, so I like to show it, just kind of, because I've got such a big collection and I'm proud of it really, and I want to show it off to you guys. So yeah, it's a Philips CDI collection. Let's give the Philips CDI some love, yeah, I know the games, most of them are crap, but there are a few on there that are freaking awesome. So come on guys, let's give Philips CDI some love. If you've got a Philips CDI, if you've ever played one, let me know both on um, the Facebook and my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash dancentral, D-A-N-C-E-N-T-R-A-L. Let me know um, what you think of it, honestly, yeah? I get it, it's not great, but there are some hidden gems on there that are fantastic, okay? So, let's get going. Philips CDI comes in various models and all shapes and sizes. Um, anything from a small box to a huge, great big monster of a thing, which, yeah, okay, fair enough. I don't understand why they had to be so big, but you can get smaller versions as well. I have to admit though, they were bloody heavy to carry down the stairs for this video especially. So, you know, things I do for videos, you know, um, I do put a lot of effort into some, you know, some of the things that I do. So, oh. This is the first model that I own, um, and I love the fact it says new on there when obviously they're not new now. This is the Philips CDI model, um, is it 2, 210 or 210? Um, now the tray does come out, but obviously I'm going to try not to let it fall out, so this gives you an idea of the kind of, you know, the size of it. It is huge. Now, so the tray comes out, and then you put the game in. The spring's actually gone in the tray anyway. That's basically a little thing that keeps it kind of protected. Um, I used to be able to press the eject button and it come out by itself, but it's, the spring has since had it. So that's one. And I've got an even bigger one, so this is going to be interesting. This is going to be fun. Ugh. And there's another one. I can't remember the number of this model. It's on Google, but it's not on the on this model it's not shown so absolutely huge the biggest consoles that I own so there's retro at its greatest I've then got two controllers that's your kind of classic hand remote which I'm not a fan of and I don't use because this just gets really fiddly and uh, you always end up dying because it's not very accurate this is more my thing yeah kind of the gamepad that everyone's kind of used to on various systems so that's what I use Cool. Now, I've got loads of games, I have to really smash through them so I can get it in this one video. Um, I've got an A set of games that are like this kind of size, and an A set of games that are this kind of size. Alright, so without further ado, let's get it going. Visit the Sesame Street, Numbers. Great game for kids learning by numbers with the Sesame Street characters. Classic game Battleships, based on the board game. Incredibly fun game, especially to play with someone else. Most of my cases have unfortunately um, come apart. Benston Bears on their own and you on your own. 
based on the Benston Bears cartoon, which I've actually seen uh, on TV. And it's pretty cool and pretty nostalgic for me because I've played the game on the CDI a lot. Caesar's World of Gambling, great game. You can play on the slot machines, blackjack, roulette, craps. I just play it with my nan a lot. Compton's Interactive Encyclopedia, which would you believe it when it first came out? It was actually, no joke, 150 quid. And it's because of the vast amount of information that's stored within this one disc. It's actually immense, a lot more than you could actually imagine, to be fair. So it did sell for quite a lot at the time. Classic game based on the board game again, Connect 4. Actually, a really fun game to play with someone. You can just, you can just take turns with the one gamepad, because you've only got the one port for the gamepad. So you just pass the controller back and forth, trying to beat each other at Connect 4. Great game, you can also get on the Mega Drive. I'm sure it was the Mega Drive. Dark Castle. Bloody hard game, but not too bad. The only thing that I would say is that the axes in which his arm kind of goes up and down to actually shoot things is atrocious and very inaccurate. But other than that, good game. Defender of the Crown, I believe you can get this on the NES as well. Um, not a fan, I'll be honest. Just not my thing. I had it for years, but just not my thing. Escape from Cyber City, one of my favourite games. This is one of the hidden gems. Absolutely amazing game. Completed it numerous times, very fast pace. Absolutely love it. Get it if you've got a Philips CDI, it's amazing. How the rhinoceros for his skin. Don't ask me why I have this. I have no idea. It's just for the collection. Any good to come out of this though is that the story is told by Jack Nicholson. From the shiny. And one flew over the cuckoo's nest. Great film. International Tennis Open. Actually not a bad sports game, and I'm not even a fan of sports games, but this one actually wasn't too bad. Laser Lords. Really cool sci-fi game. Um, interacting with aliens and other life forms. Uh, to basically... Uh, well, you basically have to... Um, Travel in the Scott in the Star Cruiser, and um, there's seven alien worlds in all, and you basically have to uh, vanquish the Star Lord, Sarpendon, and destroy the Voidal Implosion Engine. There you go. Link: The Faces of Evil. One of the shittest Link games ever, both gameplay-wise and graphic-wise, but because it holds a lot of nostalgic memory for me, I enjoy it. Mystic Medway, rest in pieces. It's a shooting gallery. I have to shoot everything that comes across the screen. One of my favourite games again. Love it. Dr. Durf. A random guy that insults you. Why not? Great game. The sequel. Mystic Medway. Phantom Express. Similar again, but you're on a roller coaster this time. Everything flies at you. You have to shoot it as it comes across the screen to get a certain amount of points to progress to the next level. Paint School 1 for kids, obviously a painting game. Grew up with it. Sequel, we got a bit I got it a bit later. Paint School 2, again, similar. Um put this off eBay not so long ago to be fair. Mainly from my niece when she's a bit older. Pinball. Fantastic game, love it. Grew up with it. You've got four pinball tables to choose from, and you basically have to get as high amount of points as you can. Richard Scarry's best neighbourhood disc ever, based on the books. You go exploring this neighbourhood, talking to people, interacting. Great for kids. The other one in the series. Which is Scary's busiest neighborhood disc ever. It's on blue, obviously, as opposed to yellow. Again, you go and explore in the town, talking to people. A great game, it's very nostalgic for me, and I have fond memories of playing. Sandy Circus Adventure. Beautiful music. Really nice storyline. It's quite sad. 
but a uh, great game, lovely music. Story Machine Star Dreams. Basically make your own stories, write your own text in, choose your own characters, choose your own backgrounds, make it from scratch, and play it through to people when you're finished. Uh, the other one in the series, but it's just huge because it's, it's a new case. Storm Machine Magic Tales is the other one. Love this because in for a Philips CDI game, look how smart it looks. It's like a file pack. It's like a, like a, like a personal organizer. I mean, seriously, how how smart is that? It's so smart, and then it's got a book inside really quickly with the different games you can get on the on the Philips CDI. How much they were back then, which again I'm so chuffed to still have. Um, and there's a manual. The Philips CDI games don't really come with manuals, but that one does. Story Machine, Magic Tales, Zelda, The Wand of Gamelon, the other shit game in the series, the sister game of Link: Faces of Evil. Um, yeah, but it's nostalgic for me. The graphics and the Gameplay are uh, hideous. Voya, 39 at the time. Can you believe that? Great game though. Textiles. Puzzle game. I have to make letters. I have to make words out of the letters, sorry. You get points depending on how long the words are. Tell me why two. Don't have the first one. Basically an interactive encyclopedia again I guess. Talk to you about sport and science and uh, human body. Right, quickly moving on to the smaller games. Seventh Guest, fantastic game. Classic game. First game is actually the game. First disc is actually the game, sorry. And the second disc is the music. How good is that? Seventh Guest, classic game and CDI is really good too. Visit Sesame Street, this time letters. I showed numbers earlier. So this is letters. Absolutely mint, immaculate condition. I couldn't believe the condition when this came through. It's absolutely immaculate. Actually love the condition of that. My favourite game ever on the CDI, ever, out of all the games I'm showing today. Burn Cycle. Absolutely amazing game. Games there. It wasn't my favourite game until I ruined the disc. On the back is the music. And the music by Simon Boswell is uh, fantastic as well. Dymo's Quest, you have to basically go through levels collecting all the sweets to progress to the next level. Please give the CDI some love, everyone. It's pretty rubbish at times, but there are some really good games on it as well. Flashback, again you can get this on the Mega Drive. Not great on the CDI, but it's on the CDI as well. Flintstones and Jetsons Time Warp, they switch places. The, uh, George Jetson goes and lives in Fred, Fred Flintstone's neighbourhood. Fred Flintstone goes into space and lives in um, George Jetson's um, place. Another there is Cartoon Carnival. Go through loads of games, loads of um, mini games featuring characters from Hanna Barbera. Create it. Basically, you have to collect all the letters to spell Cartoon Carnival, and then if you collect them all, you get to see like a couple. Well, you get to see like 30 seconds to a minute of a cartoon. Not very long. It gets cut short, but quite a cool idea. You need the digital video cartridge in order to do that, though. Hotel Mario. Yeah. Nah. Not brilliant. You basically have to go through different hotels, shutting all the doors. Pretty, pretty samey. All the levels. Learn with Sooty. It's a video CD. Basically, you, they released it on VHS back in the day, but they also released it on video CD as well to play on the Philips CDI. It's not a DVD, um, they don't work in DVD players, these, but it works on the CDI as a video CD. Little Devil, another one of my favourite games on the system. To travel through a huge maze, going through doors, defeating bosses, collecting items to progress. Mega Maze, puzzle game. I have to get the ball from one side of the yeah board to the other. Again, in immaculate condition. See, do you know anyone else that's got 
such an extensive CGI collection. Do you? If you do, let me know and I'll watch it. I'd love to see if anyone else does. This is a demo disc whoops, of Micro Machines. It only lets you play two, two full levels and one time trial. You can't play the full game, unfortunately. But, uh, you can play two of them and time trial. And then finally, last two, Sticky Bear Maps, teaching kids about maps. The hardest difficulty though, even I can't answer it, it goes a bit over the top. But, uh, yeah, and there's also a mini game there where you go jump on different ledges. And the last one is Mutant, Ram Mutant Rampage Body Slam. Fighting game, similar to like your Streets of Rage-ish, but not as good. Still cool though. Um, I've got a soundtrack to it somewhere as well. And also Dino's Quest. Put that in a CD player, it plays all the music from the game straight off. It's also a CD. Put it in your Mac or your PC, brings up all the tracks in your iTunes, play all the music from the levels. Actually, for CD games, actually pretty decent. So, yeah. And also Burn Cycle and some guests have the music as a separate disc anyway. So there you go. Philips CD collection, just look at that. Extensive that is. If you know anyone else has got an extensive collection like that, let me know. If you've got a CDI, let us know. Show off your game, it'd be great to see them. Other than that, thank you so much for watching this collection video. I really enjoyed it. Um, let me know what you think, really. Uh, a lot of games there. So thanks so much for watching. Cheers, guys, and uh, I'll be back very soon.